Hello, in this video, we will cover the basic steps of how to get started in PebblePad. This includes accessing PebblePad, navigating the home page, ways to access a workbook or worksheet shared by your instructor, and how to share back your completed work for feedback. You may receive an email with a link to PebblePad from your instructor. Click on that link. Select Quantlet from the drop-down menu and log in with your KPU ID and password. You are automatically registered when you go through it for the first time. You can also access PebblePad through one.kpu.ca. This is your PebblePad homepage. I will go over the menu items you are most likely to use. Wherever you are in PebblePad, clicking on the PebblePad logo on the top left will bring you to this homepage. The burger menu gives you an alternative way to navigate the system, including extra places to find help and support. The quick search tool on the right hand corner allows you to find things easily and the history tool lists what you worked on most recently. And the exit button logs you out of PebblePad. Under your profile is the assets and resources store. An asset is something that you have saved, created or uploaded in PebblePad. Resources are things that have been created for you, usually workbooks or worksheets shared by your instructor that you can complete. Once completed, resources become assets. The last worked on panel will allow you to quickly pick up where you had left off. Get creative panel is where you go to create your portfolios, pages and blogs. Upload new allows you to upload images, videos and files for use in your creations. What you upload will be saved in your asset store. Go to the learning center for quick help and tips and tricks. Your instructor might send you the link to the workbook or worksheet via email or post it in your Moodle course. In either instance, click on the link that will take you to the worksheet. If you want to make a copy or rename, you can go to I want to click on copy and here you have the option to rename and I'm going to rename it new copy and click on take a copy. This will save a copy in the asset store. As you are working on the activity, it's a good idea to click on the save button to save your work as you go along. If you forget, reminders will prompt you after a certain time has passed and before you close the page. If you go to your asset store, you will be able to see the copy that you just saved. Note that any modification made to the workbook by your instructor will automatically update a copy saved in your assets. Once you complete the activity, it's ready to be shared with your instructor for feedback. To do that, go to I want to Click on share. If you've been instructed to share using with people, select that option. Find your instructor by typing the full name or email address. Check the allow recipients to leave a comment box. Type an optional message and share asset. If you've been instructed to share using with the web option, select that. Make sure allow viewer to leave a comment and hide from search engines boxes are checked. Share asset. Copy the URL that appears and paste it into an email to send to your instructor. For additional resources and in-depth help, go to the burger menu, go to help and support for a variety of support available. You may also book an appointment with a peer tutor for one-on-one -on -one support by visiting tlc.kpu.ca 
or email us at tlconline at kpu.ca. Thank you.